Welcome to Sack Lunch News. Enjoy the show. All right, everybody, welcome to the show. Today we're covering the Nashville school shooting at Covenant Christian School, which is a private school in Nashville. Uh, three nine-year-old kids were killed and three members of the school staff were killed. Police identified the shooter as Audrey Hale, a 28-year-old former student at the school, and called the attack targeted. Hate was Hale was shot and killed by the police during the attack, which was the deadliest school shooting in nearly a year. So now we have trannies running around shooting up Christian schools because supposedly this kid went to the school and I guess he had some beef with the school. Hell armed with three firearms entered the Covenant School by shooting through a side door, Metro Nashville Police Chief John Drake said at a news conference. Authorities say the attack unfolded over about 14 minutes. The first call about the shooting came in at 10.13, and the shooter was dead at 10.27. Police spokesperson Don Aaron stated, As a private school operated by a church, there was no school resource officer assigned by the city to guard the school. Hell fired multiple shots on the first and second floors of the school, police said. A five-member team of police officers heard the gunfire, went to the second floor, and fatally shot the suspect. After the attack, authorities found Hill had maps drawn of the school in detail, surveillance, and entry points. When some writings, oh, okay, that were going on over that per pertain to this day, the actual incident, we have a map drawn out of how this was all going to take place. Investigators also found the shooter may have looked at targeting another location but gave up on the idea after doing a threat assessment because the site had too much security. The location was in Nashville as well. Police have referred to Hell as the female shooter and at an evening press conferences, conference added that Hell was transgender. When asked for clarification, a spokesperson told CNN, Hell used male pronouns on the social media profile. So this is a tranny going out of his way to dress up as a female, be perceived as female, but uses male pronouns on everything not really dealing with the real world, like Facebook, Twitter, all that crap, like, you know, all the bullshittery of life. Police believe Hale obtained at least two of the weapons legally. Three weapons, an AR-style rifle, an AR-style pistol. I don't know what the fuck that is. I mean, unless he put like a, I guess a, and a handgun. Police are investigating a motive and have a theory, but are continuing to probe the shooter's home and have talked with the suspect's father. Hell graduated from Nazi College of Art and Design in Nashville last year, the president of the school confirmed to CNN. And a LinkedIn profile says Hell worked as a freelance graphic designer and a part-time grocery shopper. That, I, don't, I don't know what a part-time grocery shopper is. That must be something these liberals have come up with for you to sit around and be useless and make money at. Nashville police identified the victims Monday afternoon as Evelyn Dykus, Haley Scruggs, and William Kenny, all nine-year-old students at the school. Cynthia Peak, 61, Catherine Koontz, 60, and Mike Hill, 61, who were all working at the school. Okay, so Mike Hill was a custodian and Catherine Coons was the head of the school. Coons was the head of the school according to Covenant's website, which also lists she attended school in Nashville at Vanderbilt University and Trevecca Nazarene University, along with getting her master's degree from Georgia State University. Hill was a custodian at the school according to Aaron and Peake was working as a substitute teacher at the time of the attack. The incident is the 19th shooting at a school or university so far this year in which at least one person was wounded, according to a CNN tally. Now, remember, this is CNN, so 19 divided by reality, so it's probably like the third or fourth. Two faculty members were shot and wounded by a student at a high school in Denver, and the student was later found dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. With six victims, Monday attack is the deadliest school shooting since the heinous attack in Uvalde, Texas last May that left 21 people dead. The Covenant School is a private Christian school founded in 2001 as a ministry of Covenant Presbyterian Church and teaches preschool through sixth grade, according to its website. On the typical day, it has 209 students and 40 to 50 staff members.
And ladies and gentlemen, this is why I'm pro-death penalty for situations like this. And a lot of people argue, well, you have to be able to prove that this person would have killed more people. Well, it states directly right there in the CNN statements that this person had planned on killing more people until he discovered that the other place plays fuck around and find out. He wanted to fuck around at a 10, and he realized he was going to find out at a 10. So he went back to fucking around at a zero, and he discovered at a zero for the other place. Cops showed up at the first place. He was fucking around at a 10. Now he's in the casket, and he found out at a 10. That's why the death penalty is good. The cops don't deserve to go to jail. They did their job. They saved countless kids' lives. You see, out of 209 on a typical day, if only three died, so they saved the lives of 206 kids. Those cops deserve medals not to be berated by pro-gay, blue-haired, dumbass, dipshit retards. Vote pro-death penalty.